Hello, this is Kenny Moore of TaggedPDF.com, continuing a series of short tutorials intended to help optimize PDF documents for assistive technology and mobile PDF readers by meeting the new PDF accessibility requirements of the 508 refresh. In this video, I'd like to talk about a challenge that I run into pretty frequently with documents created using InDesign. And the challenge is this one, dealing with Form X objects. In Acrobat Pro, we can see that this document has a page header. And the page header repeats on page 2 and page 3. And if I go to the content pane, I can see that all of this repeating content is in this thing called a form X object. There's the uh, gray background, the document title, and that attractive logo. And there is a form X object just like it on page two, and another one on page three. So I don't really use InDesign. I don't understand these form X objects very well. I have read up on them a bit. So I know that InDesign uses these to create uh, repeating content and then replicate it on subsequent pages. Now the challenge that this causes for assistive technology is I sometimes need to mark this content differently on different pages. So in this example on page one, I want the main document title to be heading level one. And I want that attractive logo to be a figure. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. As always, I like to save as a new file name. Just in case I mess something up, I can backtrack. So now if I go back to the content pane, I can see inside this format X object on page one, there's the tags that I created, just fine. But if I check the other pages, they got replicated to the other pages, which is not what I want. I need the repeating content to be artifacts on page two and page three. So I'm going to go to page two. I'm going to drag that. I don't, I don't want that to be a heading level one on page two. So I'm going to take it out of that H1 container and mark it as a background artifact. OK. So now I'll save that and uh, again, save as a new file name. And now if I check on uh, page two in the form X object, there's, there's my artifact. But if I check page one, this time the artifact got replicated. Uh, so this isn't working. The form X object is not allowing me to mark the content differently on different pages, which I need to be able to do. Now, what I would really like to do is just get rid of it. I want that form X object out of my life. So I'm going to drag this content out of the containers, drag it out of the form X object on page one. I don't need those containers. I'll delete those. And I don't want that form X object. So this would seem to give me just regular content that I can tag properly. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And uh, again, save as a new file name. And now if I scroll down to page two, the repeating content's just gone. It disappeared completely. And same thing on page three. So this isn't working. I, uh, I'm, I'm going to... Uh, you know, these Forms X objects, they just seem possessed to me. I don't like working with them. Um, but they're a fact of life. I run into them very frequently with uh, documents that I get from somewhere else that were created with InDesign. So I have to be able to work with them. I have to figure out a way to make this work. So what I've tried so far hasn't worked. I'm going to revert back to the uh, original file. So back in the original file, I've tried uh, various ways to deal with form X objects. What seems to work best for me is to extract each of the pages to a separate file. So I'm going to go to the uh, page thumbnails pane. And select 
the pages. I'll right click and extract the pages as separate files. Click OK and I'll save those. So now I have three one-page documents. Each has its own form X object, but they're not linked together. These things, they're possessed, but they're not that possessed. They can't, uh, they can't do their poltergeist stuff in between files. So I can go ahead and open page three. I can go to the content pane. Find that dastardly misbehaving uh, form X object and drag the content out. And uh, it's not going to affect the other pages now because they're in separate files. Uh, delete it. Save that. Do the same thing with uh, page two. Open it up. Go to the content pane. Find that uh, cloud in my silver lining, that form X object. Drag the content out of it. Delete it. Save page two and page one. Open it up. Content pane. Find that form X object. Drag the content out. Goodbye form X object. It was interesting knowing you. Now I can add uh, page two and page three back in. I'll go back to the page thumbnails pane. Right click, insert pages from file and add page 2 and page 3 back in. Okay, now I have a document happily free of form X objects. And uh, I can go to the content pane, page 1. There's my regular content. I can go ahead and tag uh, that title. Again, is heading level 1. And the lovely uh, logo as a figure. I'll save as a new file name. And I can check and see this time there's my tags I just created. This time they did not replicate. So I've just got regular content that I can tag properly, uh, which is beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, if this were a very long document, pages and pages and pages with replicating content, I might just extract page one and get rid of the form X object just on page one. I could probably live with it on the subsequent pages. Page one is the only one where I need to mark this content differently. But honestly, on a short document, uh, since I don't like these things, I just get rid of it if, uh, if, it's, uh, if it's practical to do so. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and finish tagging the document, and for that I'm going to pause the video. Okay, I finished uh, tagging the document, and I'm going to check it in pack two. And you can see we get our good friend, the happy green check mark. This PDF is technically accessible. This is Kenny Moore of taggedpdf.com. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Please feel free to contact me using the Contact Kenny page at taggedpdf.com. Accessibility is the right thing to do.